All right, what's going on guys? This is DJ coming at you with another video. Today's video, I wanna show you how to utilize and activate a cool trick that I discovered. Shout out to my boy Rob D for letting me know about this. Maybe something that's kinda old on OBS, but a lot of people don't know about it, so I wanted to shed some light on it. It's this uh, setting called Start Replay Buffer, which allows you to save clips in the past on your game basically obs is like recording when you activate this obs was recording in the background and then when you hit the save button it records back depending on how far you have it set the record back it records that clip for you which is cool because the only way that i can do this uh twitch had an, an ability for you to do it and also um obviously the consoles i know like on my ps4 and ps5 I could save clips if I wanted to, and that's usually how I always save them. But when I play on PC, I can only just record clips that were being recorded the way I'm recording this video now, which is just recording the entirety of the video and then not being able to go back and get something if I didn't start hitting the button beforehand. So the first thing you want to do is to go to settings. Then you want to go to output. When you go to the output setting, there's a setting called replay buffer. When you go to there, you enable replay buffer and you set the amount of time that you want to record. This setting from what I discovered is just basically showing you the amount of time uh, and memory that you're going to use for whatever, I guess, replay that you're buffering in the background. So 60 seconds is all I need. The most part is usually like you know 30 60 seconds is what i need at max so that's 72 megabytes that's what the clips are going to be and then you just basically hit okay and when you do that the replay buffer will pop up after the replay buffer pops up you hit start on the replay buffer and if you want to save a clip let's just say you, you know, did something cool or you had like a cool clip on some game you say, oh, I want to save that. And you forgot to hit the record button as you were going. You just hit, bam, clip save now. You go to wherever your uh, clips are saved, and it's right here. You guys looking at 1136. It's right there, 16 seconds, because it didn't record 30 seconds before I hit the button. So that's kind of how it goes. And a lot of clips, too, are also... Even though my settings are set to 60 seconds for recording time, a lot of times if you look at these, that's 71.2 megabytes. It's only 58 seconds. Even when I was recording 30 seconds, when I was kind of testing out, I noticed that it doesn't record to complete 30 seconds. It's 27, like 27 seconds on that first clip there. Uh, 56 on that one, probably because I hate recording too fast. 59, but it always records like 20. 28 29 or 57 and 58 seconds as far as that's 60 that you want so keep that in mind as well the clips are not that big the one thing you want to do also is if you want to change the size of your clips is go to um, the settings again go to output and then go to recording like for me on streaming standpoint i just got 4500 at four and a half max 4500 kilobytes per second that's what i'm outputting because that's what youtube and a lot of other places kind of that's like their standard and you could go over but that's kind of what i do here and then when i'm recording clips i do 10,000 uh, kilobytes per second or 10 megabytes 10 x so that's kind of like the output you could go up higher some people do 15 some people do 20 some people do 25 30 me i think 10 is adequate so that's kind of how i've done it and i think the clips look fine you can experiment with this go up obviously the more you go up in the bit rate the bigger the file is going to be so that's kind of why i try to do this to keep it manageable because i record a lot of clips and it starts to get crazy after you when you start recording a lot and i try to keep my file size quite manageable so that's pretty much it. I just wanted to let you guys know about it. I thought it was a cool little uh, thing to have access to, especially if you forget to record on one.
platform or you like recording on pc for me if i play call of duty or star wars or any of the games that i play on pc i wanted to have a way to be able to just record a clip and then do it and then obviously if i'm playing those games i'll probably extend my buffer uh length to have it so it's like five minutes uh i think like for me a minute is long enough like two to five minutes would be something that i would do if i want to record like a longer kind of longer quest or something and then just get the entirety of it but that's it okay guys if you guys enjoy the content please like comment share and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one peace